When I was 10, there was nothing on TV and I was just clicking through the channels. And then I saw WWE and I was just like instantly hooked. Right then and there, I was like, this is what I want to be. I have a brother with autism and sclerosis complex, which is a tumor in his heart and his brain. So my whole life was just taking care of my brother. I always felt like I was an adult at the age of legit three, just always taking care of him and watching over him and not ever really having, you know, a childhood. When I started training, I told my mom, like, Mom, I've given my entire life to my brother, Joshua. This is the only thing I ever asked for. Just let me train to be a wrestler. Just let me do this. And she let me because she, she saw how much I love this. The moment I saw him, I was instantly hooked. He had charisma, he can talk, but ultimately he was truly an underdog and he was always fighting, just fighting, fighting, fighting. And I always felt in my life I had to fight for something I believed in. He always fought for something he believed in and he is the best to me. He's the greatest and he's the reason why I want to be in the WWE. In the 2013, I had no character. I had nothing but good wrestling skills. So I made like five different characters and five different stories with five different backgrounds. And the first one I did was the boss. I'm the baddest, I'm, I'm the greatest, I'm the boss of NXT. I tried to at promo class, everyone shit on it except for Dusty Rhodes. Nobody could, like nobody got it. No one understood it except for Dusty. He's like, that's what I wanted. And Dusty helped me so much find my inner self. He gave me so much confidence and he, he gave me a sense of just belief. And that's my partner, whether it's tag team, whether it's against each other, whether it's just her helping me with any advice that I need, it just has always been there for me. When she came in, she really changed the whole game and, and aspect on how I viewed WWE and how who I wanted to be here. She is everything I ever dreamt of a friend could be and that I wanted to have in the WWE. We met in wrestling, so we both started in the independence together and we worked for the same company. He's uh, my best friend. I can talk to him about anything and it's so nice to have someone there. You know, when you do get frustrated or you're upset, it's just like you have your companion there to talk to. He's always the best, he always makes me look the best and he actually made my wedding dress too. We got married in my backyard and uh, he just he made me look amazing. Always wanted a dog. I always said I couldn't because of the schedule, but my husband's like, if it's not now, then when? But he's so happy, he makes me so happy. I love, and he's so funny. I feel like if my dog was a real person, he'd be a comedian. Yeah, my mom was just a single parent, and uh, my dad was never around. Is the uncle of Snoop Dogg, and he never helped with anything, especially helping, trying to help with the son with disability. He never gave money, he never helped us with, with nothing, so. That's why I don't talk about him. He just he was never there in my life. And now he's trying to come in my life because he was such a big wrestling fan. He's like, oh my gosh, you did it. But to me, you didn't support me since day one. You're not in my life. Honestly, I, I didn't grow up around him. And when I found out that he was going to be doing the Divas Battle Royal for WrestleMania, I begged my mom to call my birth dad and be like, how the hell can I go to WrestleMania? He got me out there um, and I told him my dreams of wanting to be a wrestler. And he told me, if this is your dream, then go get it and the advice that he gives me to this day, I use it. Sasha Banks is this large in life character who's, when that camera's on and that red light's on, it's turned on. I'm 100% I'm like this larger than life character, but when I come home and it's just no cameras around me, I'm this private, shy girl who just feels like this 10-year-old who just got to live her dream and get to live her dream every single day. I'm complete opposite of what my character is that you see on WDB. I felt like I was the mom to my brother, always taking care of him. I knew how hard it was going to be for him in this world. It was not easy. He, he's been through so much. He's such a strong boy, so special. And he's my, he's my life. You know, I really did accomplish the feeling of that 10-year-old girl. You know, yeah. I felt like I've always had to fight for her, live for her dreams, you know, make things happen. But, you know, I felt like I was just fighting for nothing anymore because I have accomplished so much and so much more that I've ever dreamt of. So now for me, getting older, I just have to have more dreams and, and focus on more things. And, you know, just really keeping a positive mind, a healthy mind, a healthy body, um, and just loving life. You know, I feel like we only have one life to live, so I have to live it to the fullest, make sure I'm just on the right path.